Volkswagen Passat heater core bypass. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'm gonna walk you through the steps of bypassing that. So this particular car happens to be a 2004 Passat 1.8 turbo. And uh, we're gonna get started by removing the coolant bottle. So we're gonna remove the Phillips screw here, here, and here. And then we're just gonna take the bottle and there's gonna be an electrical connector underneath. We're gonna unplug and just flip it over here out of our way. Okay, once you get the screws out, you're just gonna flip the bottle up. And right here on the bottom is the connector for the uh, level sensor. And to get these off, you're gonna push it in towards the uh, bottle. And then this little tab right here, you'll pull back and then pull the connector off. So now I got my vehicle jacked up just a little bit just so I can slide a, a bucket under the uh, car to uh, catch it. So if you guys are doing this at home, probably use a little floor jack and jack up the car enough to slide a, uh, a bucket to catch the coolant. After you do that, we're gonna go back here on the back of the cylinder head. And uh, these are the two hoses that we're gonna bypass. So I'll reach around back and, and point them out to you. So this one here, and then this one here. Goes, the hose that goes from the metal pipe makes a 90 and it makes another 90 like this. We're gonna make an incision and cut it right here and cut the hose in half. Okay, after you get that hose cut here, the one directly below it, you're gonna cut it right here. I'm just doing this all with a razor blade. You can use a pocket knife, whatever you got to use it. Now you're gonna make a cut here. So after getting the top hose cut and the bottom hose cut in half, you're gonna need a 5 8 90 degree adapter like this and two hose clamps. So the two hoses going to the firewall upwards, you're just gonna tuck those out of the way for right now. We're just gonna leave them in there like that. You'll tuck them out of the way. Now you're gonna slide one of the hose clamps over this hose and a hose clamp over that hose. Put them in a way where you can get to them so you can get your uh, your screwdrivers or nut drivers or whatever you want to use on there okay now that you got the hoses clamps on there over the hoses you're going to take your little your 90 degree adapter here 5 inch adapter and you're going to swing around and you're going to put them in the hose first this one like that and then you're going to take the other hose and slip it over the other end. Okay, after you get the two, the adapter in the hoses, go ahead and put your hose clamps right where you like them, tighten them up, both of them, and you just leave the the other ends, you just leave them in there, and uh, if you ever want to re repair this uh, properly, you'll have to replace the heater hoses completely. But for now, that, that'll complete that portion of the job. Now you, what you're gonna do is plug in your, uh, your level sensor back in, and, and re-secure your bottle back in and screw it down. So now you can fill it up with a uh, Volkswagen approved uh, coolant. After that, you'll start your vehicle up and run it. And um, you're gonna run it for about 10 or 15 minutes until the thermostat opens up. And the way you can tell is on the lower hose down here. So the lower radiator hose down there will, um, it'll be cold at first and as the uh, thermostat opens up, that hose will, will warm up and it'll, it'll match, near match the uh, temperature of the upper hose. And the way I do it, a safe way to check it is, it, is to get one of these uh, infrared uh, thermometers. They're pretty inexpensive and you, and you just shine it down there and you take a before and after reading. So, so you shine the laser right onto the hose and it says right now it says it's 33 degrees. And uh, so we'll start the car up, let it run. And when that thermostat opens up, the, this hose will probably be around 140, 150 degrees. And this hose right here will probably be right around 170, 180 degrees. Uh, and then um, you also want to hear, listen for the uh, fans to cycle on and off. You want to make sure that when you do this, your air conditioning and your defroster is turned off. You don't want that on. And uh, let it uh, run until the, uh, the thermostat opens up, the fans cycle on. And that when the thermostat opens up, most likely this coolant level will drop. So you'll have to fill it back up to the full line right here. You don't want to fill it up past that line. If you, uh, this tank is what is known as a uh, is what they call a expansion tank. So as it, the coolant ex gets hot, it expands and it, it'll fill up in this area right here. So if you overfill it, it could actually create too much pressure in the bottle, bottle and crack the bottle. And so once the fans come on, the the, um, the coolant level is uh, at the proper level. Put your radiator cap back on. 
And that's how you uh, bypass the heater core on your uh, Volkswagen with the 1.8 turbo. I'm Brian Nessa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. I encourage you to subscribe. And also I will be putting links in the description of this video for all the tools I use and the products I use. Thank you again for watching.